grab some of this cucumber. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. guys welcome back to another what i eat in a day it's currently 10 past 6 a.m i am just having a coffee as you guys saw i didn't use my before you speak just because i'm trying not to waste it because sometimes i can have like three packets a day and it's so yummy so i'm just having like a regular instant coffee hair is extremely oily but yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along with what i eat today i'm probably not gonna do my full fast just because i'm going to the gym at 7 a.m i think i'm meant to stop fasting at like 10 50 ish and today's weights and i usually don't like to wait too long after coming back from the gym to eat so we'll see how i feel see how I'm, how hungry i am i had a really really bad sleep last night for the first time in a while. Um, like I couldn't, I didn't get to sleep until probably like 1 a.m. I was just, my mind was just going round and round in circles and I just could not get to sleep for the life of me. So that was kind of annoying. The weather's definitely getting like much hotter. Like I can feel it and the sun is rising earlier, which is great because it makes it so much easier to wake up early. It's very, very windy today though. It was very windy last night as well. I've had my Tropica Body Bloom as you saw. I love taking that for like my digestion. It really helps with that. And then I've just made a coffee as my like pre-workout with a little bit of almond milk in it. I will either have this or if I don't have this, I have Oxy Shred. I don't have Oxy Shred all the time though because I don't want my body to rely on it. I probably have Oxy Shred maybe three times a week and then coffee on the other days. I'm just kind of chilling for the moment. I like waking up with plenty of time to get ready. We're also going to do a little Nasty Gal haul in this video, which I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you to Nasty Gal for sponsoring today's video. I feel like I look like I'm... I look like a little boy right now. Alrighty, so I thought I would pop in and just do a quick little nasty gal haul for you guys because I love doing these kind of vlog style. I feel like it's fun. And it's just more casual than like setting up my camera, doing my poses, like I'm just gonna chat into the mirror, show you what I picked up. I love nasty gal. They're probably one of my favorite places for jeans, sweatshirts, and just like cool pieces. As always, I do have a discount code. My new discount code is now Connor55, and that'll get you 55% off the Australian Nasty Gal website. Everything will be listed in the description box down below with my sizes. I'm about a size six Australian, which I think is about of a size two in the US, pretty sure. Um, or an extra small or a small, but I'll let you know all the sizes as usual, but yeah. So without further ado, let's dive into the pieces. Okay, so first up, we've got this little gray cropped t-shirt i forgot how much i love wearing these especially with like jeans or high-waisted leggings i feel like they're just really flattering super easy i think these are in a size six or a size small or size extra small this one's in gray i have another one in like a nude color and it just says nasty on like the chest area super easy very comfortable also really good for the gym i feel like these are great to throw on over the top of like your sports bra really really love that and then I also have these black boyfriend jeans. I'm still on the hunt for like my perfect pair. I do really like these. I don't think they're going to be my ride or dies, but they are really, really nice. They're like in a faded black just because I think I'm not really into solid black jeans now. I just feel like they can be a bit harsh and not really my vibe. Someone is, what is it called? Welding? <laughs> But these are in a size 6 or a size extra small. They're in like a faded black color. I do really like these. I think they're cool. Um, as per usual, I roll up the ankle. They're not like a super oversized fit like some jeans are. They're nice and fitted on my waist, which I love. That's probably one of my favorite things about Nasty Gal jeans is they fit my waist and they're nice on my legs. 
really cute just a nice pair of like casual jeans they feel really nice as well like they're quite lightweight perfect for the weather that we have because i feel like we get to a certain point in australia or brisbane where it's just too hot to wear jeans ever so these are really really nice and look quite cute with this top as well moving on i'll show you the other shirt of this one that i picked up this one i feel like you can tell already has like a slightly different fit and there is toothpaste on it so i'm just gonna leave my arm there but yeah this one's like a slightly different fit it's the same top just in a different color but yeah it's like slightly shorter i don't know if that was on purpose it says nasty here again in black and it's in like a nice nude shade it has like that raw edge so it kind of like rolls a little bit and looks really cool once again love wearing this with jeans really really cute Okay, and then actually some pieces that are fit for the season that we're in. I've got, first of all, this little like very lightweight shirt that I thought would be so perfect for a little like beach cover up. We're definitely getting into like warmer weather now. It's literally like, what is the temperature? It's currently 25 degrees right now. But yeah, I just got this like lightweight, like oversized shirt that I feel like would be perfect as a bikini cover up and you could totally tie it. Hang on. I personally don't like getting too much sun because I'm very, very fair. But yeah, that's the little top there. So cute. Just untie this. And then we have this first bikini. Hi, I'm um, sorry to interrupt, but I've just realized I've worn the bikini completely wrong. Um, and I've realized it as I've looked at the image of the model. So, I mean, you could wear it the way that I was doing, but it would make more sense to wear it how they've shown how to wear it. So just ignore that. Sorry. I've probably worn the other one incorrectly as well. Far out. The little strings kind of tie in the center like that. This is in a size eight. I kind of wish you could choose like the size for the bottoms and the size for the tops because I'm probably more of a size eight on top and then a size six on the bottoms. But they fit fine regardless because you can kind of tie them on the side like that. So you can kind of adjust it. But I think this is so super cute. I really like how it kind of dangles. It's definitely more like a lounging around type of swimsuit because if you were to dive in the ocean, this would come off straight away. But yeah, so cute. This is the first little bikini. And then we have this one, which has like little flowers on the front, which is super cute. And then the back just has this like crisscross design, which actually you can really tighten it to give you like more support. And then these are the bottoms. So they're like kind of like that very cheeky design that they sit very high up on your hips like that. Okay, next up, I freaking love this. This is like a denim shirt. I think it's listed on the website as like a shirt. You could definitely wear it as a jacket. And it's kind of like, this is how I would wear it if I were dressing it up. You could totally wear it with bike shorts and kind of have it like loose fit like that and then you could dress it up with boots or like wear it with like white sneakers and white socks which is always the go-to i think this is super cute very chill but kind of like looks cute at the same time i definitely love like that whole big shirt slash jacket dress vibe i'm trying to like show you these boots are also from nasty gal by the way then yeah, you could totally wear this as a jacket as well if you wanted to or add a belt if you wanted to like cinch it in at the waist it kind of has like balloon cinched in sleeves. Like you could wear it unbuttoned like that and have like a little bra underneath or something. I don't know. I just feel like this is really cute. So that's what it looks like from the back. So it's like a nice big, as my little camera, denim shirt. I just think it looks so cool with boots. I think that's color, very true denim shade. Yeah, I really, really love this piece. I think it's so fun. And then lastly, even though we're in springtime, I feel like I'm going to stop buying sweaters after this haul, okay? promise probably not but um i've always seen georgia richards wear this jumper and i freaking love it it's like a big white oversized crew neck it's so soft on the inside i've got other nasty girl sweaters and they're definitely not as soft as this one it just says inglewood i'm trying to read it like backwards in the mirror inglewood california 1985 with like an american flag white i think this is in a size medium It'll be listed down below. Can't go wrong with a nice crew neck. Black shorts as well. You can even dress it up with white boots. I just haven't taken them off. So cute. Not much more to say about this one. It's like the perfect oversized as well. Love it. And then I have another sweater. Oh, my hair just keeps getting messed up every time I put a shirt on. And then we have this one, which is basically the same. Probably a little bit more fitted than the white one. But it's just in a grey colour and it just says Nasty Gal. I just wanted something that was like grey and plain. But I liked that it says 
Nasty Gal. I, I love their logo. I feel like it's so cute. Perfect for the gym because when I go to the gym, the air conditioning's on inside and it's always absolutely freezing. So I think I'm gonna always need to have a jumper with me going to the gym even throughout the summer because it's so cold in the gym. But then obviously once you start working out, you take the jumper off. But it's like that first moment when you walk in, you're like, am I in Antarctica? All right, so lastly, we have some shoes. I look, sorry about my hair. We have some shoes. They're pretty much all white slash nude and I'm so excited. They're like the perfect spring shoes. Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioning, but I had to turn it on because it's turning into a sauna in here. I'm gonna start off with the white pairs first. Okay, these are probably my favorite. These are like little white mules. This is like the perfect heel height for me it's like a little it's not too short not too high very like 2000s almost i actually have a pair of shoes very similar to this in black so these are in a size 37 or australian size 6 and they've kind of got like little dots on them these will go with like literally every single summer dress spring dress jeans your sunday morning sunday sesh brekkie going on a cute date is it weird for me to just like shove my feet in the air i think it is so that is what they look like there. They're like the perfect height as well. Can't wait to wear these. And then similarly, same, same, but different. We've got these ones, which are pretty much the same, except they're in like a crocodile print white again, and they have like a thicker cover over the toe. Same, same, but different. You know, sometimes you want to be a little bit more covered up. These ones I probably could have, uh, no. They're the same size, size six. I can kind of fit into size five or a size six. So yeah, I really like these. I pitch them these more with like jeans for some reason. Once again, so comfy. So that is what they look like. They kind of have that like square toe for once my toenails are painted. And yeah, I just love the crocodile print. I think they're so cute, so fun. Okay, and then my camera keeps overheating. The camera's like, nah, I can't deal either, mate. <laughs> and then lastly, we have these little bad boys. I actually have a pair of like, they're kind of more of a orangey beige color and they look so nice with white jeans. Um, so I picked up like another pair of like a good heel height. I can't do really high heels. I just can't. Freya can. I can't, I, I can't do it. So these are like perfect. They're in like a nude suede color. Um, and then they've got like, have like a little circle buckle on the side. Size 37, probably could have got a size five, but it's all right. It's all wee Gucci. <laughs> Nasty Gal heels are so comfortable as well. I don't know why, they just are. Like pretty much whenever I go out, the shoes that I wear are from Nasty Gal. That's all I own. All of my heels are basically Nasty Gal and my boots as well. Ooh. Obviously, you're not wearing them with this outfit, but that's all right. So that is what they look like. They're very similar to my skin tone at this point in time because I have no tan on. So cute, like so comfortable. I could wear these to like an all day event and I wouldn't feel uncomfortable. Okay, so that completes my little Nasty Gal haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget you can save 55% off if you use the code Connor55. Also comment down below what was your favorite piece. I would love to know. But anyway, let's continue with the video. All right, so is that gonna be windy? Yes, it is. So you guys know that I normally do intermittent fasting and, and I'm toying with like not stopping it because I love it. But I think because I'm not necessarily trying to lose weight now, I'm just wondering like whether I really need to do it every single day. So I think today I'm not gonna do it because it's 8.30 and I'm gonna start making my breakfast. It's like my classic egg medley, I guess you could say. Also pinned back my fringe today. So the forehead is large and in charge. Some of this cucumber. All right, I feel like my camera's gonna die, so this may be cut slightly short. I'm gonna chop up an entire zucchini because she's going a bit wrinkly, so if I don't eat this, it's probably gonna go bad. I love having lots of veggies, if you've never seen me before. I love doing so many vegetables, like, and then a source of protein, like egg or chicken or fish. Those are probably like my go-tos. I'm gonna put some vegetables. I literally have veggies for breakfast. Like I usually buy like the carrot, pea and corn mixes from um, Woolworths. So I'm gonna add some peas, green beans left over. Literally I always just take whatever is in the fridge um, in terms of veggies and stuff. So like today we don't have any mushrooms so I'm not gonna put mushrooms in obviously. Okay, so I'm just heating up the pan and then I'll do some ham. I usually do about 30 grams of ham. Kiara, you've had your breakfast. 
chuck in my vegetables. Bit of garlic. Ah! And then a lot of mixed herbs, apparently. I'm gonna add in some ham. I'm gonna turn on another pan for the eggs. And then in here, I've just got one egg and then 100 grams of egg whites. Add in a big handful of spinach. And then I'm gonna have some spinach leaves like on my plate as well. Eggs really don't take long to cook. Definitely buy a new one. Alright, so this is gonna be my breakfast. Yeah, normally the eggs don't stick to the pan like that, but we definitely need to buy a new one. So I'm gonna have this. My battery's dying, so I'm not gonna be able to film me eating it probably. But I'm also gonna have a big glass of water as well. So since I'm not doing intermittent fasting today, I'm gonna go into my app and click end fast. And I'm gonna dig in. I'm so hungry. Very excited. <laughs> So it's 11 a.m. now. I'm gonna make my kind of snack, and I had this yesterday, and it actually kept me full for a very long time because I don't think I'm gonna have a smoothie today. I might, I just don't have any of my protein powder that I normally use, but I had this yesterday and it was really good. So, what I'm gonna do is get a bowl. I'm gonna get some cucumber. I'm gonna get an entire cucumber because I'm addicted. Cut it into like sticks. I'm not tracking today. I don't track every single day because it's too, like I weigh things, but I'm not actually entering it into my phone. So I've got some tuna here in spring water and I'm gonna add this to a bowl. Just plain tuna. Do about 80 grams of that. Such a good source of protein. I'm gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise, like a little dab of some Greek yogurt to add, make it like cream. 50 grams of the Greek yogurt. So it's like, kind of looks a bit gross, but it tastes really great. Some carrots as well for my veggies. Should be using a big enough. Cause I'm kind of gonna dip these into the tuna mix, which sounds weird, but. I'm gonna season the tuna, so we're gonna do some pepper. I would normally add sriracha into this, but we don't have any, so I'm just gonna do some chili flakes. Also gonna have a, before you speak, coffee. Water. And then I'm gonna add a dash of almond milk to that. I'm gonna sit down, I'm just gonna eat it off the board. Why dirty another plate? <laughs> It is now 2 p.m. I'm so sorry for the amount of times I've changed my outfit today. It's just because I've been like getting photos and everything. So yeah, I've just been editing and I had one of these and it was actually so good. It's the X50 green tea and reserva troll. It's like an energy drink, but like in tea form. And it was so nice. It's like seven calories and I had that. And then I also had some of the <laughs> X50 again, um, cauliflower chips. I just had a few. Um, which I probably shouldn't have. A little bit less than half the packet, so I've snacked on those. I'm gonna make a smoothie. I, I know I said I wasn't gonna have one, but I think I am. I think I'll do this in a time lapse just because I've made it so many times, you guys know. So yeah, if you wanna see the dedicated smoothie recipe, it's in like literally every other vlog. All right, so I'm gonna start off with some ice and then I'm gonna add 50 grams of banana, 100 grams of cauliflower, 50 grams of Greek yogurt, and then about 150 mils of almond milk. I'm just using my Tropica Lean Protein and then I'm gonna add my Genora into here. This is just the pineapple flavor. And I'm also gonna add the beauty brain, just cause why not? Bloody hell, I just spilt my 
smoothie on me. Make sure you don't do what I just did and put like massive chunks of cauliflower in there because the blender will not blend it up. Let's give it a taste. Very nice. I'm gonna have this, probably chill out for a bit. 2.15 right now. I definitely much prefer intermittent fasting. It works better for the structure of my day. I don't know how to explain it, but. So for dinner, I decided to make one of my classic massive salads. So I'm starting off by chopping up some cucumber and some zucchini. I love zucchini. It's probably one of my favorite vegetables because it's just, it's the best. I love it. So also gonna add some onion, chop that bad boy up. I've got a massive amount of lettuce in here. I love using massive bowls for my salads because you can like mix it up together a lot more easily. And then in a pan, I've just got some like frozen veggies. I added in some green beans as well. I literally just chuck in vegetables. Like that's, that's like what I do. I eat so many vegetables, maybe a bit too many, but. I'm also adding some garlic powder and a little bit of mixed herbs, salt and pepper, of course. I literally just add whatever seasonings, like I'm not that pedantic about it. Um, and then I made the most random dressing ever. It was like Greek yogurt and soy sauce. Honestly, it was not that bad. Like it was kind of good. So <laughs> then I added in some chicken as well, probably like 70-ish grams. And then I'm just mixing everything together. And I decided to add a boiled egg as well, just for a little bit of fat, more protein. And that, my friends, was my dinner. It was so yummy, so good. I love making ginormous salads that look like they're gonna serve a family. And then I demolish the whole thing. It's quite impressive, actually. Might I say myself. <laughs> And then of course for my dessert, I had some jelly light, some Greek yogurt and a little bit of maple syrup. I love having this as my dessert. It's just the perfect thing to curb my sweet tooth. And then I just clicked start my fast. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna end off this video here. I'm sorry if it's windy, but yeah, it's 5.35. I wanted to have my dinner as early on in the night as possible, just so I can do a fast tomorrow. Just because yeah, I think I definitely do prefer doing intermittent fasting. Like I said, it just works better for me. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.